What's your take on protein? I know you have a weird opinion on protein, right? <laughs> I have a pretty standard opinion <laughs> on protein. Uh, lots of it. <clears throat> Before workouts, though, I actually care a lot less about it. I like to, the reason I'm going to have work, uh, pre-workout protein is because mm -hmm. I have protein throughout my day. Yep. So I'm just going to have protein that, that I've taken in. But if I had to choose and I could only eat a certain amount of food because I only had a certain amount of time before a workout and it wasn't going to be a full meal, it would be, it would skew closer, to, it would skew more carb based yep. as opposed to it being protein based, right? I would focus on having that protein post-workout to refuel my muscle stores mm -hmm. uh, to, and to recover better uh, as opposed to thinking about protein at all pre-workout. <clears throat> pre-workout, I'm within 30 to 45 minutes. I typically, every time I work out, have dried mango because one, it's just become a habit. And if I don't have it, I feel like I'm missing something. But like that's my preferred sugar source mm -hmm. that I work on. But I don't pair that with a protein, right? I just, I eat that. I enjoy that about 30, 45 minutes before um, to ensure that I've got some carb source, some sugar source kind of flowing through me that I can utilize for the workout. Gotcha. And then I go heavy protein, right? And I don't believe in that post-workout window. I think we've seen a lot of research mm -hmm. on the fact that it's good. It's like, it's good if it, tags on to a habit for you i probably do have a protein shake or something within an hour of my workouts and that's just because i've just done that now for 14 years mm -hmm. uh, but <clears throat> if you're just getting enough protein in you throughout the day yep. you've done it right you've achieved your protein level you're fine you don't have to get it within an hour but mm -hmm. i like to do it because i know i need an extra 30 to 40 to hit my numbers so i'm going to enjoy that protein shake kind of following the workout Gotcha. I was gonna. Say, I was actually gonna go on that that point that you just said of total intake is really what matters. Yeah. Um, which also can be going back to different types of supplementation, different fuels. Focus on right, not so much. Focus on how you're eating throughout the whole day, but now within that breakdown, what you need for the most immediate task that you're doing. Mm -hmm. Right. Carbohydrates can be phenomenal, but most people deal with either metabolic issues from it, extreme abuses, diabetes. Right. So they're positive in that sense of they're going to fuel you, they're going to give it to you, but protein, right, is probably the most important macronutrient because that sets up your metabolism, can be a little bit better, right, in managing blood sugar mm -hmm. if you're eating a higher quantity of protein with every meal. Yeah, satiation. Right? <clears throat> satiation, yep. And it might just be easier throughout the rest of the day if you focus on protein to hit your numbers for your recovery relative to your goal body weight, right, um, for total tissue repair, total brain repair, um, then also set you up to be able to eat and take advantage of those carbohydrates when you need them or want them, mm -hmm. you know? So, um, <clears throat> yeah, I know we always preach protein, but that's it, right? Yeah. The breakdown of that is typically 0.8 to 1.2 on the high end grams of protein per pound of body weight, right? So if your body weight is 200 and you want to maintain, right, you should be eating about 200 grams of protein a day. Um, can waver, right, day in and day out, but that's kind of like your standardized goal. And that yeah. should never really go up or go down unless you have goal weights in mind, either above or below that weight target, right? But um, that's it, total day, 200 and grams. We always recommend splitting up your protein <clears throat> intake yep. because it's just easier to take in mm -hmm. at that point in time, right? So <clears throat> for me, I want to hit somewhere 185, 200 grams of protein a day. I'm probably trying to have somewhere 40 to 50 grams of protein a meal, and then I'm gonna have a shake, something that's gonna get me to that 185, 200 number. But I, we talked about this. There was like the, there was a recent study that actually showed that the body can, and we've we've spoken about it before, but this research kind of really really spoke about it, the fact that you can have. There's no upward limit, no upper limit of protein mm -hmm. that you can have in a sitting that your body's not gonna use. Mm -hmm. Um, they did these tests around kind of even consuming 100 grams of protein and all being mm. metabolized by the body, being used appropriately. So for the people that may intermittent fast, right, the big issue with that is that you're missing a meal where you can get 30, 40 grams of protein. Yeah. So now when you could say, all right, well, now your target is for that first meal, you've got to get 60 to 80. You know that your body can use it, right? You got to, you kind of have to chase that in mm -hmm. one meal.